Hey, coming at you here from Bean Energy. We've got some solar panels we're playing with. These are some 305 watt Jinkos, which by the way, if you're in the DFW area, come buy some from me. Get you a deal, 75 bucks a pop. They work really well. Anyway, I've also got here a Solar City 6 kilowatt grid tie inverter with an islanding feature. So I'm playing around with it. I've got what, five of these 305 watt Jinkos set up. It is currently after five in the afternoon, so the sun's pretty low. Um, so yeah, that should be 1500 watts worth, but this will island, and I don't have to have it connected to the grid. So right now, all I've got is solar input, and I've got 110 volt output. It is a split phase inverter. And so I am pulling 350 watts off of this with a couple of fans. Now I did try running a 10,000 BTU air conditioner. It did not appreciate that, wouldn't start it up. I wanna try that during the day. Maybe I'll do that Saturday at around noon to lay some panels out and see how many it takes to start a 10,000 BTU air conditioner without a battery, just straight off of solar. So that would be fun. Stay tuned for that. But this is what I've got right now. So I've got my solar coming in right here into my first MPPT. Each of these blocks can handle four and a half thousand watts individually, and then the inverter itself can do up to six kilowatts. Um, I've got my DC cutoff switch here, my AC cutoff switch here. So both of those are on right now. And you'll see that there's this green block here. This is the off-grid islanding 110 split phase or 240 volts. I've just got 110 plugged in right now. And then this is the grid tie connection. You can see my active power is at 354 watts. We will continue to do some testing and see if I can get this working with some bigger, uh, bigger loads, such as an air conditioner. An inverter that's made to be a grid tie inverter doesn't need to be able to handle surge loads. So that's probably, you know, that's not really its design case. You use the grid for the surge and you use your grid tie inverter for making up after the fact. But we'll still play around with it, see what we can get with this $660 six kilowatt inverter.